Hey everybody, uh, my name is Joe Buzzard and today I'm here not as a marketer but as a member of our Green Committee. And my talk today is about how making a difference to this planet is easier than you think. Now we're told a lot of damning facts and statistics, like the fact that yearly plastic waste can circle the earth four times, and that increases 9% each year. That 50% of plastic is used only once, and only 5% of plastic is recovered from what is produced. That according to the UN, we have 12 years, just 12 years, to limit climate change catastrophe. I don't know about you, but for me, it can all feel a bit exhausting. So it's natural to wonder how on earth you can do anything that makes a real difference. But I'm here today to tell you that you can make a difference just by making small changes, little and often. And largely, it's about how we consume things. And now these are all things that I do. Firstly, say no to plastic bottles and say yes to reusables. As you're all well aware, we've already started doing this at Rocket Mill with each of us receiving a co-branded Chili's bottle on our first day. But it's not just about having one, it's about using them as well. So I encourage you to take it everywhere with you. If you go to client meetings, if you go to the park at lunch, wherever you go, because you never know when you might fancy a nice drink of water. Unfortunately, it's really easy to do this on the go. Now with apps like Refill telling you exactly where you can go to fill up your bottle. Over 150,000 UK businesses are already, already registered as refill stations. So there really is no excuse for buying plastic water bottles anymore. Heathrow Airport are one of those 150,000 businesses. They're right after security. It's so easy and it's such a relief to find that you can actually have water as soon as you go through security. But what difference can this actually make? Well, according to Refill, they estimate that if all their refill stations were used just once a day, it could save five million plastic bottles from being produced. And if you regularly shop at Sainsbury's on your lunch break, keep a tote bag to hand in your work bag so you don't get caught out. And if you do big shops for veg, why not go one step further and bring your own reusable cotton bags inside your tote bag, rather than the horrible little plastic ones you have to pick up as you go around to carry those mushrooms or whatever. I'd also recommend you try out zero waste shops, which are great for refillable essentials like pasta, rice, even soap. You may already know we have a local one in Brighton just down the road called Hisby. And now zero waste shops aren't really a new thing. They've just been rebranded. Our grandparents regularly went out and bought things in more environmentally friendly packaging or refillable containers. Isn't it worth taking a leaf out of their book to try and help save the planet? But it's not just about how we consume things or buy things. There's things you can do at home or work as well. To start with, I'd recommend that before you chuck something in the bin, you check it. If you're still not sure if you can recycle it, recycle-more.co.uk is a great resource to give you advice on what to do. I'd highly recommend checking it out. This is an easy one. Switch off your screen. If you're not using it, there's no reason for it to be on, and it's wasting a lot of energy. You can save so much energy and reduce your energy bills by just turning it off if you're not using it. And the last one, reduce the amount of meat you eat. I personally really struggle with this one, and I understand why a lot of people do, but the impact you could have by reducing the amount of meat you eat could be massive. Last year, there was a huge scientific study on the impact of food production on the environment, and their biggest finding was that vegan diet is the single biggest way to reduce your impact on planet Earth. It's far bigger than cutting down on your flights or buying an electric car, but I'm not telling you to go veggie or vegan. I'm certainly not. I'm just suggesting you cut down a little bit. Why not try meat-free Mondays, for example? Even a small change could make a big difference. And now I think we all appreciate that greater change needs to be enforced by bigger players, such as government and big brands. But you as an individual are a driver for change. If we all stop taking plastic bags for bread rolls or vegetables and start using the paper bags you tend to see provided for, the, for loose mushrooms, or even the reusable bags I mentioned earlier, supply will start to outstrip demand and big brands will take notice. After all, it's their job to understand what we want and supply it. And big brands are starting to listen. In January, Lush launched an entirely plastic-free store in Manchester. A year before, Iceland were pledging to remove plastic packaging from all their own label products within five years. 
And notice the heading at the bottom of this page. Clearly, someone needs to act, so why not us? That's our rallying cry. On top of that, this year, a service called Loop is launching its first test in the US and France. So this is everyday products, redesigned, waste-free, delivered to your door. You don't even have to throw things away or recycle. You simply drop your used empties back into the Loop tote and schedule a free pickup from your home for refills. And lots of huge brands are already on board with this, like Dove, Gillette, Pantene, Oral-B, Axe, or as we know them, Lynx, Hellman's, The Body Shop, Quaker's Oats, who are finally getting rid of those non-recyclable plastic bags. But most importantly of all, haagen ice cream. <laughs> but as exciting as all this is, none of this change is possible without one vital ingredient. You. And all you have to do is be more conscious. We count calories and check food labels for nutritional value. So why not for environmental impact and plastic? You might be surprised to discover the kind of hidden plastics you don't even realize that you're consuming, like in tea bags. And you might find trying out meat-free Mondays gives you the chance to experiment with some veggie dishes you'd never normally think to try. Be more conscious and you could force the hand of big brands faster than you might think. Thank you.